everyone, this is Football 101. That's right, I am the Beatle, and we are back. Yes, we are back again for another exciting show. On This one is on the NFL again, the NFL. And, I, and it's the, this is show, show number 12, show number 12. I am the Beatle, your host. <laughs> And this show is all about Antonio Brown. And it's called Antonio Brown. What's up, bruh? Come on. What's up, bruh? What's the deal with Antonio Brown, wide receiver of the Oakland Raiders? And the latest, as of September 6th, we're going to talk about all the storming controversy. All the last minute uh, uh, situations that are are at uh, are just uh, everything is fluid. But when I woke up uh, yesterday, uh, the other day, I couldn't believe what I heard. I I saw on the Twitter all the stuff going on on the NFL Network on ESPN. And by the way, I just want to thank. All our listeners out there, I really appreciate all the listeners. I want to thank uh, Podbean. I want to thank uh, the help of Apple Podcasts. I want to thank Spotify. I want to take thank YouTube. YouTube. <laughs> I want to thank all our listeners, even in uh, where? Uh, oh, uh, in Albuquerque, New Mexico. <laughs> Shout out to Rick Ward. I really appreciate uh, uh, a little follow up there and uh, and listening, as well as all my folks in. The state of Ohio and all across the United States, we're just coming at you because there's so much news in each and every part of football. And you know, I love football. There's no doubt about it. The season has officially started last night, last night with, uh, oh, I'm giving you a little lead into the next show, too, with the Packers beating the Bears. Hint, hint. Uh, So I'm going to stop right there. Uh, please do uh, email me at uh, ejb8892 at gmail.com. ejb8892 at gmail.com. Any question, any comment, but I'm going to get it. Get to the real issue right now, and that is, okay, I am sick and tired of all the news around Antonio Brown. Boom, baby! You are just making a big mistake right now. What is the latest as of uh, this afternoon on a Friday? Here's the latest. Now, things are so fluid. By the time you listen to this, I don't know what's going to be up or down. But as of the latest, uh, again, uh, it's uh, it, the latest is that I saw uh, the agent for Antonio. Now, let me just hold on. Hold on. I'm, we're talking about Antonio Brown. Who is this guy first? Wait, wait back. Back up. I need to back up. <laughs> Let's back up. Antonio Brown, superstar wide receiver from the Pittsburgh Steelers. Superstar wide receiver from the Pittsburgh Steelers. And yes, uh, has uh, here is the little uh, overview, uh, quick synopsis of Antonio Brown. Brown has the kind of work ethic and thirst for production that Gruden loves. But that thirst must be shaken, must be controlled. And Brown must be a focal a focal point from day one to make it work. That was the write-up in my pro football uh, magazine. And again, when you add... Uh, Antonio Brown. Now, just look at his his stats. Uh, he's six. He's five ten, one eighty one. Ten years in the NFL from Central Michigan. And again, it says other than Randy Moss, uh, Brown would be the most decorated superstar wide receiver on the Raiders roster as wide receiver and really superstar athlete and brown had a mask leading the nfl in receptions in tds 
uh, with the Pittsburgh Steelers for over 10 years, 9, 10 years. And uh, just a phenomenal athlete. He knows how, how to, he, he's really worked hard at his craft. There's no doubt about it. You know, I'm a defensive, former defensive back. I still am a defensive back, y'all. Yeah, the Beatles is still a defensive back in my heart. But, <laughs> but you can just see that he has worked very, very hard on his craft, on his skill level. As a 5'10 guy, for his speed, his acceleration, how to get off the ball, and his release, and his his precision in his route route running. I mean, it is truly a craft. When you see him truly practice and really get into it, it's it's a thing of beauty. There's no doubt. The the guy has elevated himself through hard work. There's no doubt. I do not doubt uh, uh, Antonio Brown's uh, true skill level. He is the elite wide receiver. However, <laughs> however, Antonio, bruh, bruh, you have created a cloud of, uh, let me just say, dissension, <laughs> uh, disgust, <laughs> um, I'm not going to say hatred, but just player hated, you know, it's just over the top, over the top drama. And of course, you know, I saw on Twitter, it reminds a lot of folks of, and I have to agree a little bit here, um, a lot here, they remind, uh, Antonio Brown reminds a lot of folks of Terrell Owens, hello, former Eagle, former 49er, for, former uh, Dallas Cowboy, uh, everyone was sick and tired of Terrell Owens, Terrell Owens, and because it was all about him. And unfortunately, unfortunately, and I'm saying unfortunately because I'm a former player, uh, Antonio Brown is fitting that mode and description as the diva drama wide receiver. Sad to see, but I know that Pittsburgh is so glad to be rid of him. I know Big Ben Hello, Big Ben Roethlisberger, uh, fellow MU alumni. <laughs> and yes, I did see Big Ben in college, uh, and he phenomenal, phenomenal at that time. I'm just saying, <laughs> but he he had to deal with Antonio for uh, uh, those years in Pittsburgh, and now John Gruden, Mike Mayotte, John Gruden, the head coach of the uh, Oakland Raiders, and Mike Mayotte, the general manager have had to deal with more than they can imagine <laughs> already. Preseason, not, not even before preseason, just making the deal. Preseason, all the drama on hard knocks. So ridiculous. And so it gets overblown on hard knocks. I know it does. It's all production. Uh, but again, what I read in other outlets is sad to hear, sad to read. And the latest incident, by the way, uh, involved... Uh, an altercation with uh, of Antonio Brown with uh, Mike Mayotte, the gem new general manager. And Mike Mayotte is a uh, phenomenal recruiter, ph phenomenal uh, football expert uh, and analyst. And uh, he's uh, returned to football, NFL, with the Raiders. He was with the NFL Network for a number of years. And apparently, there was an altercation recently uh, between Antonio Brown and Mike Mayotte, again, the general manager, where Antonio was did not like being fined uh, by Mike Mayotte, and it was, uh, I guess, uh, uh, amongst the other Raider players, and uh, Antonio shouted back at Mike Mayotte, and uh, the latest thing I saw, heard on ESPN, that he uh, and other sources that Mike uh, that he uh, Antonio Brown yelled back and about the fines and actually uh, said something directly to Mike Mayotte. Not a scuffle, but uh, Mike uh, Antonio Brown actually kicked a football in, in, in disgust uh, towards uh, Mike Mayotte way. 
and of all people who were there who was there to calm down Antonio Brown was was uh, <laughs> uh, let me make sure uh Vontez perfect <laughs> Vontez uh perfect of all people Vontez he, he's always been uh, a little bit too aggressive himself uh, back in Cincinnati. He has a he has a reputation, but he was the peacemaker in this altercation, apparently. <laughs> Vontez perfect. <laughs> but anyway, Antonio Brown uh, uh, is uh, uh, again the latest is uh, what I heard from the uh, his agent Drew. Uh, Ron, Ron House, uh, I forget his name. Uh, Drew something something something. He's a he's a super agent of the football players. But he was in. He actually uh, ESPN caught him in the air, airline airport, <laughs> and he said something will resolve will be resolved. He, he will not be suspended. He will play. He will actually play in Monday. Uh, is it Monday? Uh, Monday's game. Yeah, Monday night's game with the Raiders. And even uh, last I heard is that Antonio, uh, and another outlet, uh, no, another one of my sources said that Antonio went to the team uh, just uh, today or yesterday and apologized to his teammates. Heartfelt apology and, uh, and say that I want to be on this team. And uh, he apologized for all the uh, additional drama but also the latest altercation uh and uh so john gruden is still uh antonio brown's biggest supporter and uh, now let me just say uh, john gruden is my man <laughs> john gruden you know i you know as they call him chucky <laughs> he's from ohio he's from dayton ohio john gruden is my man <laughs> He's just got that sense of, you know, he's going to deal with players the best way they, best way he can. He knows how to play them. But he's going to get to a point as well. But right now, uh, Gruden is a believer in Antonio Brown. He wants that talent. He knows the impact that Antonio can completely change uh, uh, the dynamics in Oakland on the offense. He knows it. He, he's, he is, John Gruden is willing to deal with as much as possible with Antonio Brown for this year. <laughs> I'm just saying, I, 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 for one year, and he wants to get to that one year. That's what that's what John Gruden. He just wants him for one year. After that, uh, we don't know. But he really wants it, wants him out there for the first game. He wants to somehow manage Antonio Brown persona antics, all of it. His family. <laughs> And boy, is he busy. He got his family there. I saw in Hard Knocks at, at training camp. Uh, got his kids there. And now, what, let me just, a little side note. <laughs> and one of the Hard Knocks, the early Hard Knocks, he had his kids there, his sons, uh, at the, I guess, a couple of early preseason training camp sessions. And the little son, son said, asked uh, their father, Antonio, said, uh, who is, uh, where is Ben Roethlisberger? <laughs> And even even Antonio was smiling. He said, uh, I'm on a different team, <laughs> son. This is the Oakland Raiders, and uh, the quarterback is actually Derek Carr. <laughs> and the kids were like, huh? <laughs> there's no there's no Burger? <laughs> I thought that was too funny. <laughs> he did not inform his kids that he's with a new team and a new quarterback. <laughs> After signing the deal, being in preseason training camp, the kids don't even know the quarterback. <laughs> so that was they they kept that on the on the uh, they aired that on Hard Knocks. That if you see that, that was like number one or two. If you see that, that is too funny, <laughs> too funny. But anyway, getting back to Antonio Brown, the man is obviously now. Let me just say the reason I'm 14 minutes in, almost 15 minutes. And when I heard about this latest altercation, it went from the issues with his feet, the issues with his helmet, the issues with you know, uh, you know, not feeling well, all these drama issues. Uh, so, because he really didn't want to play, uh, be in preseason, he, he didn't want to really suit up 
and uh, play any games in preseason. Uh, that's one thing. Let me just say this. As an elite player and a drama player, uh, excuse me, he didn't want to play any preseason games. He just wanted to suit up, uh, get a little heated, and uh, be, the, be the attention getter. And uh, the rest of his teammates, they put up with that. But when it becomes, here we go. When Here's the difference of college and pro. When it comes down to money. Hello. You will see how fast a vast majority of these superstar athletes change their tune. Because if Antonio Brown is not suited up, ready to play on the first game, he will lose $14 million. That's what I heard in the back channels, $14 million. So I said, once I heard that, I said, wait a minute. Are the Raiders going to suspend him? Wait a minute. His his agent is saying he's trying to work out something. Wait a minute. The agent wants to get paid. Antonio has his family all out there. Living large. <laughs> Come on, bro. Come on, bro. <laughs> and, you know, I'm just looking at what he's sharing on Hard Knocks. And what I'm picking up on my other channels. Uh, you know. Uh, and uh, Antonio got to pay Bills. <laughs> Just like everybody else. Come on now. When it comes down to the season, when it comes down to a professional athlete who has all the skills, boom, baby, he has to pay bills. Boom, baby, he has to show up for the game. Boom, baby, he's going to be there. And yes, boom, baby, he's going to stay with the Raiders this first year. <laughs> yeah, boom, baby. Come on, bruh. Let's be real. Because guess what? Guess what's on the Oakland Raiders team now? When all, the, when all the players are talking in between uh, the practices in the locker room, they said, we want to win. We want our best players out there. But if and even Antonio giving us grief, we ready to move on. Believe me, there's chatter like that amongst amongst <laughs> the players on the team. Cause you gotta realize there's a lot of players that were cut, obviously, in each NFL team. It's not a good situation. This is business. And all of those players who had high hopes, dreams, who got cut by the end, and now they have a 53-man roster. There are some tough feelings, and now it's business. All those players on the team, on the practice squad, they want to get paid. They got to get paid. This is their job. This is what they love to do for the most part. But this is their job. They have families. They have obligations. Hello, bruh. Hello, Antonio. This is directly to you, Antonio. You know you got to get paid. Stop the antics. Stop the drama. Because even the brothers on the team are getting tired of the drama. Of the new drama. And of course the Raiders are a place where all the, uh, as they said in the past, all the criminals, all the bad, all the bad players. all We know a couple number of players that were not well liked on other teams. They come to the Raiders. And usually the Raiders know how to handle them. So I'm going to give John Gruden a pass. I'm going to give Mike Mayotte a pass. Mike Mayotte is, has to do what he has to do. 
someone has to stand up to Antonio. And I didn't like seeing some of the uh, uh, even former players getting on Mike Mayotte. I don't know the situation, but someone has to lay down the rules. Players, I'm just saying, players do not dictate how a team operates. Hello, I don't care how good you are. I don't care if you are the top dog. Players do not dictate how a team runs. It's the owner. It's the coach. It's the general manager. Hello. Owner, coach, general manager. This is business. So, boom, baby, get in line. That's right. I said it. Boom, baby, get in line, Antonio Brown. And respect the game. Respect your teammates. Respect the the organization, respect the NFL, respect all the kids who look up to you, respect your college, Central Michigan, respect your parents, your dad, I believe who played football as well, respect the game, because guess what, Antonio Time goes by real fast. And you will be shipped off to another team if you don't get in line sometime, somewhere. Just like Terrell Owens. He will. Get, he got shipped off. Teams put up with Terrell Owens, but they shipped him off. And eventually, Terrell Owens' skill level deteriorated. That's right, deteriorated. So, yes, your skill level is high now, but guess what? In another few years, <laughs> I, didn't say, I, get, I didn't even make some no, few years, your skill level will deteriorate as well. And owners, coaches, and general managers will ship you off because there is another, another superstar Right around the corner, okay? And we're going to find out a lot of new superstars this year, new superstars, and next year, new superstars that will, guess what? Take your place, Antonio Brown. So, boom, baby, get in line. Come on, bruh. What's up? I am sick and tired of the drama. I really like your talent. I want to see if you really connect with Derek uh, Carr, because this is a critical year for Derek Carr, by the way. And he needs the numbers. He needs the respect. He needs to show the leadership. Because John Gruden, my boy John Gruden, he doesn't play. Chucky doesn't play. Hello. He is a Super Bowl coach for a reason. He got that big time 10 year contract with Oakland for a reason. He's not going nowhere. <laughs> He's going to be in Vegas with the Raiders. Antonio, are you going to be in Vegas with the Raiders? <laughs> Come on. Boom, baby. What's up, bruh? What's up, bruh? Enough is enough. So I hope he, he suits up. Uh, expect the unexpected throughout this season. That's, that's on par. Uh, expect the unexpected. But my prediction... Football 101 prediction is Antonio will be there one year, one year, one year, one year, if that. And they're going to get the most, Gruden's going to get the most out of all the media attention, all the revenue on Antonio Brown. Because that's just the way it is. Okay, so you got to set a standard. And so Antonio Brown, boom baby! Got to get used to the new standard in Oakland. So if he doesn't, he will be shipped off elsewhere. And believe me, John Gruden already shipped off a superstar when he first arrived there. Hello, <laughs> hello, Mac. <laughs> he, 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 he's cleaning house. So, okay. But again, Gruden's still supporting him. So I don't know what's going to be the outcome. But I, I say one year with Antonio and Get your act together. Come on, Antonio. Give it some respect. So that's my opinion. That's the Beatles' opinion. <laughs> I 
I went a little long. 25 minutes on Antonio Brown. Show number, what is it? Show number 12. What's up, Antonio? This is Football 101. If you want to email me, email me at EJB88 at 92 gmail.com. That's right. EJB8892 at gmail.com. Please bring it, because I'm going to bring it all season long. This is Football 101, and thank you for your time, and we're going to keep it real. And hey, guess what, Antonio? Boom, baby! Let's do this! We out!